Time is running out. Callie knows that she has to find food soon. And then like that, in an instant, she sees movement in the distance. It's now or never. This is the life of Kali, an older female Leo who now has to face the ultimate trial of life, parenthood. So join me as we watch the story of this lone killer. Out on the African savannah, if the predation doesn't kill you or the elements themselves, then dehydration will be your next best bet. It is critical to always manage your level of hydration. The life of solitude has ended for Kali with the birth of her two cubs. From here on out, she will be eating for two. The cubs are a little bit older than what they once were, but they are still reliant on their mother. Kali now has to go much further out in search of food. As she desperately races across the plains, she is heading for one of the largest watering holes in Africa. In doing so, she is increasing the odds of finding prey, but she is also playing a dangerous game with meeting competition. Once she reaches the lake, she starts scouting for prey. She needs a meal that can hold all three of them over for a while. She can't afford to waste time with small game. This zebra herd looks like a good mark, but those adult zebras can deliver a back kick that can easily kill her. The dry season has been unbelievably harsh this year. It has forced the crocodilians out into the open, making them highly aggressive. After much time, there still hasn't been any young herbivores for Kali to hunt. The stress is starting to build. The cubs are going hungry, and she herself is not- Kali has just been attacked by a male lion. She needs to get away as fast as possible. This pride, if they catch her, will make her dinner. Her best bet is to make it back to her kids safely on top of the cliffside. The only two obstacles that stand in her way is to make it across the river and to climb up the rocks. Kali gets to walk away with her life this time, but she hasn't brought back any food and still must find the solution. Time is running out. Kali knows that she has to find food soon. And then like that, in an instant, she sees movement in the distance. It's now or never. If I can just bleed this thing out, he will be the perfect meal I need to get this kill. This young hyena is causing this older female to struggle harshly, but she has no other choice because it's for the sake of her cubs. And just like that, Callie has secured not only food for herself, but for her bloodline, and now she can rest easy and eat her meal. The drought is now over. The rainy season has returned, and the cubs have officially reached the age that they are no longer dependent on their mother. Right now, the storm is heavy, so they will stay with her for a bit longer. The rains are ending. The sky is clearing, and the cubs that were once dependent on Kali no longer require her assistance. She was there from the very beginning with them, was willing to die for them, and now the day has come for them to leave. She is returning to where she started, back to solitude. If you like this video, then watch this one next. I have a good feeling you're going to love it. Also, guys, I have a Patreon now that I'm going to link in the description down below. And if you want to support me further, you can choose to do so. As always, I am Moonlight F and I'm just looking out for you. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.